Hi everyone, I'm Steph, your friendly neighborhood yarn addict. Today I am going to show you how to make this really cute bubble stitch hat. Now I've come up with a couple of different patterns for different weights of yarn. So one of them is in the Malavigo Mecha, which is bulky. And then this one is made with Malabrigo Worsted, which is a more typical weight that people tend to use. So I will guide you through a step-by-step -step process of how to make this hat from start to finish. And if you would like to support my yarn addiction, you're welcome to purchase the PDF pattern um, online. And I would greatly appreciate that. But if not, you can also just follow the entire video and you'll be able to make this hat. Now, this brim is something that I came up with and I use it for a lot of my hats. You don't have to use it, of course. You can just have a regular beanie. And that will be in another video, how to make this brim. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. The way that we will begin this pattern is the same as I begin pretty much all of my pieces, which is with the long tail cast on. There is more detail on this in my Knitting for Beginners video, if you would like to check it out. And so on. Once our cast on row is finished, start working in the round. Here you have to be really careful that you're not twisting your stitches, otherwise you will not be able to fix this later on. And so we begin with our knit two, purl two for the bottom section of the hat. And and once I'm sure there's no twists, we'll continue this, making the bottom section of the hat that will fold over like this. And now we have completed our lower brim with our knit to purl to. So this bottom part. And now we're ready to start the next section, which is going to be just the stockinette stitch. At this point, we have completed the bottom band of the beanie. And now we have done in stockinette stitch this top part, which is actually the very bottom right here. So this beanie is made to fold over the very bottom, giving you some extra warmth over the ears and just making it a better quality beanie, in my opinion. Now we are ready to begin our increases according to your pattern, depending on what weight of yarn you're using. And the way we're going to do this is by make one, knit one. So M1 would simply be picking a stitch up like so and then continuing your knitting. Do it one more time right here. Make one. We are now ready to change color. We are almost lined up with the bottom band right here. And we want to make it look like our new color is behind this band. So therefore, this is the perfect time to switch colors. We're going to use this beautiful turquoise from Marabrigo called Aguas. And we simply start knitting the row with this color. And we keep following our pattern. Very exciting times. This is the fun part, which is when we start our bubble stitch. 
as you can see. It's this beautiful 3D stitch. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're switching to this beautiful cirrus gray, which is more of a blue, kind of a blue gray. And here's the tricky part. So following your pattern, it says knit three and then knit four below. So pay close attention here. The way that I do this is I hold on to the fourth stitch below the present stitch. So I count one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we undo the stitch until we reach that one that we held on to. And this is my little trick I came up with holding on to it before I even unravel anything so that I make sure that it's not going to go any farther. And you see we have these four ladders. Now the trick to this 3D stitch is we knit from behind. So these ladders come forward and then we knit right here nice and tight but not too tight and that's all there is to it and then knit three knit four below one two three four I grab this guy right here and undo that and then from behind I make the stitch Then we will continue the row, just like that. You can already tell it's making this cute three-dimensional bubble shape. Once we've finished this row, where we make our first bubble stitch, then we simply keep following the pattern, just stocking it for the next five rows. Okay, look at how nice these little bubbles are turning out. Our first row of bubbles. And now we're switching colors again, going back to my color A, and making another row of these beautiful bubbles. This time, the actual bubble is going in between the previous two. So right here is gonna be our first bubble which means we knit one and then the knit four below happens right here in the middle of the previous bubble. Again, my little trick is inserting the needle into the stitch that I'm going to knit so that I know it's the right one, bringing these four ladders to the front of the work and we knit. And we just keep going till the end of the row. Hopefully you're as happy as I am with the progress so far. On this pattern creates such a beautiful 3D shape. It's so cool. At this point we're ready to start our decreases and as your pattern says for this first row of decreases we're going to knit six and knit two together. And we'll continue this till the end of the row. At our first row of decreases and then knit one. In between each decrease we make sure we knit one row and now we're going to do knit one two and knit two together. So we're beginning our row a little bit differently. 
after this initial decrease, we can follow the pattern, which is knit five, knit two together. And this will allow us to do another row of bubbles. We will switch to color A. And here, you just have to be very careful that the stitch that you're using for the knit four below has no decreases. Otherwise, it's going to create kind of a confusing mess. And that's why the previous decreases were made staggered rather than a linear how I usually do them. Um, so we're going to start by knitting one. And then here is the middle of this previous bubble. And so that's the one that we are using for this next bubble. So knit four below, like so. And then we knit one, two, and then knit four below. So these are going to be slightly smaller bubbles because we have started decreasing now. What we did previously was the knit five, knit two together. And now we're going to do knit four, knit two together, and so on as the pattern continues. And here we are. We've already decreased knit three, knit two together. We're going to do one more set of bubbles, switching to color B. The pattern's going to be knit one, knit four below. And we only have five stitches on this bubble, on this color, I guess you could say. But we're still going to knit four below, going down to the very first row right here. Knit one, knit four below. We're making tiny bubbles. And we are in our very last color change here, going back to color C. And we're going to do something very similar that we did on the previous bubble row. It's simply going to be knit four below. We've got one, two, three, four, five rows. So knit four below, knit one, knit four below. and so on. The very last row. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the last bit of yarn, leaving a nice little tail so that we can pull it through the last few set of stitches. Now we just weave in these ends and that's it. You can put a palm on the very top or add a brim, which is probably what I'm going to be doing to this one, or just leave it the way it is. It's always very exciting when we finish a new hat, but then we have to figure out what to do with all these loose ends that we have here. And there's a way to make it nice and seamless where they just sort of disappear. And that's what I'm going to show you right now, how to weave in your ends. It helps if you use 
uh, the colors matching your tail. Otherwise, you might be able to see it on the right side of the work. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed this little instructional video on how to make these cool bubble stitch beanies. I hope you're as happy with the finished product as I was. You know what to do. If you like the video, please hit like. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you so much for supporting the Yarn Addict. And now it's time to go enjoy some Alaskan wintertime. See you in the next video, guys.